In the original movie, you s seem to show the most sympathy to Daniel, um, and then shown the last two times on the Halloween dance where you and Johnny uh, and the rest of the Cobra Kai's chase Daniel and during the tournament. Did that character have anything to do with the Bobby becoming pastor in Cobra Kai? That compassion? Yeah, I think it did. I think that in their minds, you know, they, you know, if I was the writer, I don't know that I would have written Bobby as a pastor. I, I probably wouldn't have thought of that. I'm a motivational speaker in, in real life also. So I kind of thought, well, once I knew I was coming back and before I had the call with those guys, I was thinking, what would Bobby be doing? Maybe he's an orthopedic knee surgeon <laughs> specializing in knees. And that's his way of, you know, of repenting for what he did to Daniel. Or maybe he's a motivational speaker. Um, and maybe he's working with any inner city children, you know, as, and, and giving them the martial arts experience, creating a dojo for, you know, not for profit, but just to. And I thought of all these things, what would Bobby be doing? And then they said he was a pastor. It was OK, that's. That's definitely genius, and it's definitely definitely in line with Bobby's character of always trying to steer people in the right direction. And even though he's a conflicted pastor, yeah, you know, because he's not opposed to going out and getting in a bar brawl with his buddies and drinking a few beers. <laughs> but um, you know, so I think it's genius that they made him a pastor, and, and it definitely stems from the original character of Bobby being the good guy out of mm -hmm. the bad guys, and always knew when the line was being crossed. And always try to pull his friends, you know, like Johnny back, you know, leave him alone, man. He's had enough. That's it. The line this we're crossing the line here. So, you know, yeah. in any franchise, they've got loads and loads of spinoffs. And so with it being as huge as, as it is, I mean, do you think there is any possibility of any sort of spinoff from, you know, uh, Karate Kid to Cobra Kai to something else? I, there's just I love that question. A lot of characters I see. Yeah, I love that question because, um, first of all, because a lot of people on social media, a lot of fans want Bobby to have his yeah. own. <laughs> you know, I, saw, I saw the other day somebody posted, um, what was it? Pa uh, Pastor Bobby, karate preacher. Not oh my karate God, teacher, yes. But karate <laughs> preacher. Or, you know, and I had, I've had a lot of call for Bobby needs his own spinoff. And then, uh, you know, I was playing online with uh, um, Susan Gallagher, who plays uh, Homeless Lynn and does such a brilliant job, you know, and her and I are like social media buddies. So <laughs> I, uh, I saw, you know, the, the, she has this web page called Homeless Lynn Theories. And so I just posted for, I posted for fun, just for fun. Uh -huh. Here's a theory. And I posted a picture of me on, on, on the motorcycle. I said, you know, Pastor Bobby takes Homeless Lynn in, he cleans her up, he starts teaching her karate. He has an inner city or a, a non-for-profit dojo that funded by his church where inner city kids can come and home, he gets homeless Len to black belt and they start teaching these kids. And then they have, they have formidable fighters that compete against Cobra Kai and Miyagi-Do in the turn. And then I, I, I posted this whole thing, you know, and um, now it's become a thing. I was doing it for fun, but the fans are like, that's a great idea. That should be a spinoff. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm going to have to access that and uh, get that on Pop Thrill because, yeah, there's that. That sounds like a really, really great um, spinoff. And, you know, yeah. I will, I will, I'm going to be the first viewer. I will definitely sign the petition to get you on. I mean, I think that is like, yeah, I that, love that. that's really awesome. Yeah. And, you know, and I also saw an article. I, they are thinking spinoffs. I know that because there's been a few articles on it, like, you know, credible articles. And um, I don't know if that's in the works, but like Chris having his own, you know, Marty having his own spinoff or even some of these younger actors yeah. um, coming up. So who knows? I mean, who thought we would be here talking about it right now, all these years later? I, I never thought that I would be able to talk to um, Karate Kid. Karate Kid? I mean, I'm like, yeah. you, guys, you guys are just, okay, I'll put my fangirling to the side. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but...